coming in at number 48, it's Rourke Chartier, a guy who came in with not much fanfare, but this guy's just a goal scorer at the American Hockey League level, Bills. I'm glad he's back. Yeah, I've always been a Rourke Chartier guy. Like, I, I thought that that was a nice signing to bring him in here. Like, his first season, he came in with a bang. 25 points in 33 games is pretty impressive. Even, I hate to bring it up, but the short playoff stint they had in two goals, he had two points. Like, he, he was a very big part of that offense. And then he kept things going last year. 40 games, 20 goals, and then only eight assists. Like, 20 goals and eight assists is a wild stat line. That reminds me of uh, Brandon Peary back in the day. He used to put up stat lines like that all the time. But, hey, when they're going in for you, you keep shooting, and that's what Rourke Chartier was doing. I I think that he's just your prototypical middle six centerman uh, in the American Hockey League. He even got a taste, six NHL games with Ottawa, where he didn't look out of place. It's not like he was getting a whole lot of opportunity. The uh, the game logs are kind of funny for uh, for Rourke Chartier at the NHL level because let's let's be honest, he was there because Ottawa was in such a pinch and didn't really have anybody else to look at. I mean, his final game he played with Ottawa, he played four minutes and forty seconds. He was up around ten minutes in those games, but I thought he showed fairly decent. He played center, took some faceoffs, and it was at a time where Ottawa really like. The injuries were piling up. That was when Timmy was out of the lineup for that game, that loss in Winnipeg. And um, yeah, he did an admirable job. And I think that's why he's a little bit higher on in this tier than maybe he would have been. Uh, zero pims in 40 games too. That's pretty impressive. Wow. Yeah, that's that's definitely impressive. Like a goal scorer that keeps things clean. That's um, that's solid for Rourke Chartier. And yeah, I think the, the thing is with him is he's one of those guys that – found success in Belleville and then they didn't just let him go like that's that's the issue you can't have guys that have a good season and you're like well we're just going to recycle you for another veteran like you need to have, build some chemistry with the coaching staff with the prospects you want guys to be like I love it here in Belleville I want to have my family live here in Belleville and all those kinds of things like you need to start building that in the AHL it's so important I can't emphasize it enough so to bring Rook Chartier back is a great move in my eyes I think so too. He even has some NHL experience from his time in San Jose. So I think you're going to yes. see him as, again, you can never have too much depth, especially down the middle. And Rourke Chartier, man, magic in the shootouts too. I know he went two for three last season, but uh, he's a guy where he comes in clutch in, in those moments. I know he's got a couple of beauties. And without Jake Lucini now, who really did some damage in the shootout for Belleville last year, just a good guy to have in the lineup. And that's why Rourke Chartier comes in at number 48 on our organizational value rankings. <laughs> 